guys, welcome back to the Throttle YouTube channel. My name is Quinn. Today we're gonna to be working on our next sweepstakes car, which is a 2013 Evo 10. Every dollar you spend at Throttle.com is gonna get you one entry to win this car. So we're gonna be starting out the project with a beautiful set of new brakes. So our Evo comes equipped with four piston front calipers and two piston calipers in the rear, so we don't really need to go for a big brake kit because this car already has one out of the box. But we are gonna be changing up the rotors, the pads. We've got some braided stainless steel brake lines from AMS Performance. And we've got a whole EBC rotor and pad combo. So this is a two-piece floating rotor, aluminum top hat with a steel rotor, and then we're going full steel in the rear. Some beautiful EBC pads. We run EBC pads and rotors on pretty much every car from our NSX to our GC8 Subaru to the Supra. Everything gets EBC. All of these parts you're gonna see in this video are available at throttle.com. So hit the link in the description if you wanna get a set of EBC brakes for yourself and let's get started. driver rear caliper this is the worst one so far but none of them are really in good condition as you can see we have spots where the clear coat is completely gone we have sections where it's fine we have sections where it's peeling and there's air bubbles you can literally hear it not good so we're gonna jet these guys off to the Ricky powder coating department over here at throttle he's gonna make them he's gonna make them nice and beautiful and then once we put this all back together, it should look awesome with the new painted calipers and it won't look like old crust brake calipers, which is unfortunate that these calipers do this. Apparently this is a pretty common thing. This is mini-me. This is, yeah. So when you like got a bolt that's like not tight, but you just need to get in there with a wrench, instead of swinging this freaking hoss around, you get the little mini one. I freaking love these. I had one that was a quarter inch size with a 3 8 head on it. So like most sockets you put on it were bigger than the ratchet. Call the powder coating department yet? Yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning it. These yeah. are smoke, dude. They're not in good shape. But they will be once you're done with them. They're gonna be brand new and beautiful. Of course, the, the uh, how's brand. the other one work? That's actually the worst one of the this one. That one. Okay, that, the other front's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. Welcome to the powder coat department where I'm gonna be fixing Queen's nasty rotors. Well, calipers. They look uh sick. Look like they just had COVID. Anyways, I'm gonna make it look brand new. I am going to be replacing the brake lines with our beautiful new braided stainless steel lines. After I get all the brake lines done, I'm gonna put the rotors on 
And then I'm gonna tag in helping Ricky get these things ready to go. piece steel with the crusty boy on it versus a brand new EBC aluminum top hat two piece floating rudder Woo! beautiful so what does that do like the two piece floating first of all it reduces weight so you have sprung weight and unsprung weight so this is sprung weight so if you can lighten it it's going to be much better so the aluminum hat lightens the rudder which is really nice these rudders are pretty much the same size so this one is a good bit lighter than the steel piece, which is nice Secondly, it allows for the steel. Secondly, it allows for the steel to expand differently. So if you notice, this is it's a single piece rotor. So when these start to get hot, the steel can only expand out versus this, it can expand in. So it allows for cooling the rotor better. It's a lighter weight setup, more efficient at dissipating heat, which is what brakes are meant to do. So this allows it to cool a lot better. The top hat won't get as hot because it's aluminum and aluminum is great with uh, thermal conductivity and dissipating heat. And it's just all around a much better setup. I've got a box here, open brand new. So this is our front right, right rotor. Fresh out of the packaging. R stands for right, baby. Boom. Look how fancy that looks. That looks so much better than the stock rotor. Doesn't even have a caliper on it. It looks freaking awesome. Uh, so I just got done putting primer on this rear two calipers. I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna hop on the front calipers. I'm gonna start getting them prepped so I can start doing the, actually the same thing. Okay, so now that the calipers are primed, a little bug got in there so I had to sand it down. No big deal. This is just like uh, the primer for the base coat. Paint color we're gonna be using, we are gonna be using silver. We're gonna be using doubly color caliper paint. After that, we're gonna be using some uh, 2K gloss clear to gloss them out. And they will be looking sick. It is time for me to start putting clear coat on it and we're gonna be using our Eastwood. Let's see if you can get it in there. Eastwood 2K Aerospray Clear Coat. The same thing that we've been using before. Grab the red cap, or put it under it. You pop it, you shake it um, for another 30 seconds or so and then it's ready to go. This thing is good for about 24 hours. After that, she done. So I'm gonna spray these two and after I get done spraying these two, I'm gonna start working on the front calipers and get them ready again, just like I did this one.
So I have all of our brake rotors installed. So now I'm gonna take a minute and clean all of our nuts and bolts and the springs. And these are our retention pins. So these slide in through the caliper there and hold the brake pads in place. And uh, they're a little crusty. So are the springs. We're gonna have nice clean calipers, nice clean rotors and pads. So I want these guys to match. take a quick second step away from the brakes we've got the rotors on we've got the brake lines installed the Ricky's cleaning up our calipers right now I'm gonna take a step away from that and change out our antenna so this is gonna be our new antenna so the factory antenna has this kind of weird sweeping like going fast all the time look which I'm really not a big fan of and neither is Ricky or Mickey so it kind of just a strange design so we're gonna swap that out should just unscrew, yep. And this one's gonna be a lot smaller as well. Stock. And the new one. So it's actually gonna stick up a lot less than I thought it was. Just as one of those small touches that makes this thing look a little bit nicer. Awesome, sweet. All right, so it is Monday, guys. We let the calipers sit over the weekend to let them dry. They turned out Three awesome. days! Three days? You Fr painted Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then today's Monday. Oh, fair enough, okay. Now we get to put these things on the car, get it bled, and yeah, go drive it. You See definitely it got a test drive, yeah. That's it, let's, uh, let's just get to work, bro. Let's do it. So these are the bleeding screws and I'm putting them tight now because I took them off for the paint. And if we, let's just say we start bleeding from the back and all of these things are open, it's just gonna start shooting fluid everywhere. And we're probably not gonna notice because we're gonna be back there. So we need I, to make sure that we tighten up. I appreciate you putting them on the top this time. Yeah, I actually uh, had the wrong one and then I was like, Quinn. <laughs> and then I flipped so them. When we did Josh Grant's GC8 <laughs> build, somebody <laughs> put the rear calipers on the wrong side so the bleed screws are at the bottom and then he got frustrated and at the end of the day he left because he couldn't figure out why the brakes wouldn't bleed i don't know why no they they were they, they, i, I they don't know did not bleed. they yeah the well, were obviously bleeding. they didn't because they were at the bottom but i was getting <laughs> fluid though for sure <laughs> <laughs> Now 
Whenever you have metal on metal contact sliding surfaces, such as this, so this is actually the pad, like it doesn't move much, but it does move back and forth inside the caliper, especially as the pad starts to wear down. And so you can get a lot of squeaking coming from this. And same thing with the slide calipers, or the uh, slide pins. They actually sit through everything. It's what keeps the pads in. So you should pretty much grease all that too. So any place you have metal and metal contact, you should be greasing. Back of the caliper too, where the piston hits the brake pad is a good place. Yeah, you should. Just like that. I don't. And I grease, I grease the sides too, but Ricky. I don't put them in already, my car. Already didn't do that, so. What, what do you mean? You don't grease the sides here? No, I do it out here. I'll do it in the end. And it's only because you're here. I should just put them in there and go. So your car squeak. I don't know my car squeak. Like sauce is so loud, you would never hear it squeak. They probably do, but you can't hear them, which means they don't squeak because there's no proof, right? One done, one more to go. I said the front is done. Uh, once Quinn gets done with the back, I'll hop in the car and we'll start bleeding this car. Me and Quinn have done that many times. We already have our technique. We'll get it done and then bring the car back down. Well, put the wheels on. Bring the car back down and we'll take it for a drive to make sure that they actually stop. This is it. Queen is getting the last of it done, and then I'm gonna get up here, and then. Can you bring, yeah, give me a boost. Give me a boost. Hey, 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 oh shit. Give me a boost. <laughs> See, the funny thing about this is the car has to come down because I gotta put brake fluid in there, so. I'm oh, yeah, hard. you're right. <laughs> <sighs> that could have broke my neck, bro, for no reason. The last thing we need to get our brakes up and working again is brake fluids. We're gonna be using Motul 660. We run this brake fluid on literally every car we have here. It's fantastic. So we're gonna get this thing bled back on the road. All that's left is put the wheels on and go take it for a rip. Oh, I was I would, expecting I would. a blowout valve. So we're out on the test drive right now, breaking in the brakes, making sure they feel good, which they do. Um, they're you, solid, they're really yeah. stiff. They're so if good. you get the bleeding wrong, it won't feel correct or it'll kind of not break like it should or the pedal will sink a little bit too far. So we're just making sure everything feels good, which it does. Car stops nice. So after we break them in, it's got the coating on the back rotors that need to kind of burn off a little bit um, before they start feeling really good. So then after that is done, then we're gonna really stand on it, make sure this thing stops properly. Yeah, the coating is already, yeah. Uh, it's al it's almost gone, yeah, yeah, it's getting there. It's almost gone. Mm -hmm. It's fine though, but the brakes are 
solid. Dude. Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Oh, we got our I crossed my arm. I look, I look stupid. Start over. Alright, so that is going to be it for today's video, guys. We got our braking system on our Evo, fully refreshed. Brand new pads, brand new rotors, repainted calipers by Correct. Ricky. So Outer EBC coating. pads, EBC rotors. We got yep. AMS brake lines in here and some brand new Moto brake fluid. So this thing feels great. It looks way better than it did. It's super solid. So I'm very happy with the way the calipers came out. The EBC rotors look freaking killer in the wheel well and they fill the entire wheel well, which is awesome. So all the parts we use in this video, you can find at throttle.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment how you think this build is going. I know this is a very early set in this progress, but I think it's going to be setting up for really what we we'll want the car to be, which is really yeah, nice. Exactly. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Investigator Quinn on the prowl. <laughs> what? Is it our fire alarm? Actually, right, so there's a fire alarm going off. and Oh, there you go. It's turned off. Oh, you see the lunchtime? Oh, it's a fire alarm. <laughs> you want a prison yard or what? factory 20 years ago. Lunch bell. Evo 10. So every dollar you spend at throttle.com. Gets Ricky more sanding paper. He's f loud. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't think of He nailed it, too. <laughs> We're going to start out the build by setting up. I don't know what Quinn's doing. <laughs> Oh, what is, hoy es el día de español solamente. Hoy nada más se habla español, ¿verdad, güey? ¿Qué pasó? Español solamente. ¿Qué pasó, tu mono, Fernando Rodríguez? Tienes yes. un boleto de debate para empezar tu vacación desde San Antonio, amigo. ¡Qué diantre! Enrique, ¿qué hora es? ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? <laughs> Where's the library? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. He's going to take forever. Back with you later. Yeah, come back in five hours when I'm going to be done with one caliper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, EBC. It's not ABC, Will. Made in England. Is that where you saw EBC? England Brake Company? Did I just discover something? Hey, you kind of look tall from this angle. I am tall, fool, what are you talking about? Count how many breaks I did, count how many breaks Quinn did. Damn. You just greasing him up like that? Oh, here he comes, <laughs> with a hammer. What? <laughs> what was that?